Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers administrative settings on how to keep students from starting their own Meet, as well as recording a Meet, and more. Now, Google Meet is a great tool for remote teaching and learning, but understandably, schools may want to limit how students can use this tool. Certainly, there are many other apps that students can use to connect with friends, and that is wonderful for them to do so. However, when being used through school, it is common for schools to not want students to start their own meets or to record a meet. In this video, we will look at settings and steps needed to manage this. Please note, if you are a teacher, I do have a separate video on how you can keep students from joining a meet without you or rejoining a meet after you have left, which you can find with the rest of the videos in this series at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos. This video is for the tech administrators. As a tech administrator, you will need to start by going to the admin console and navigating to the Meet settings. You'll do this by clicking on the Apps icon in the dashboard. Next, choose the G Suite Core Services. Here you will find the entry for Hangouts Meet and Google Hangouts. First, you will want to make sure that Meet is enabled for everyone in your school who needs to use it, including your students. Even though the students will not be starting their own Meets, they will need to be able to join Meets from their teachers, so the service needs to be turned on for them. To do this, select the organizational unit on the left that holds your students, and make sure that Meet is turned on. If it is not, click the three dots button to the right of Hangouts Meet and Google Hangouts and choose the On option. If you have not put your students into their own organizational unit yet, you will need to do that first since you are trying to apply settings to your students. If for any reason you have a group of accounts that will not use Meet at all, you can always choose to disable it for that specific group if desired. Simply select the organizational unit on the left and then click the three dot button to the right of Hangouts Meet and Google Hangouts and then choose Off or Override. For now though, make sure Meet is turned on for all of your users who need to use it, including your students. Now that we are sure everyone can use Google Meet, we'll want to turn off some options for students, such as starting their own Meet or recording a Meet. For this, you'll want to click on the Hangouts Meet entry to go into its specific settings. Then you'll want to click on Meet Settings. At this point, you'll want to select the organizational unit on the left side of the screen that has your students. With the student organizational unit selected, you will now see a list of settings on the right-hand side. The settings you'll want to change include recording, stream, and video calling. For example, click on the pencil icon to the right of video calling to change that setting. This controls whether or not a user is able to create their own Google Meet. To turn this off for the students, uncheck the box and then click Override. Now the students will no longer be able to start their own Google Meets. Be sure to repeat this process for the settings for recording, so that students can't record a meeting they are in, and with Stream, which controls if users can live stream their meetings. Be aware these settings can take up to 24 hours to apply to your students. With these settings changed, your students will still be able to use Google Meet with their teachers, but the students will not be able to start their own meets or record meets that they are a part of. So those are the basics for how to keep students from starting their own Meet or recording a Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.